There are a huge number of people in the European Union. Over 450 million of us. EU laws are in place to protect us. But if someone finds themselves being treated unfairly, is there really anything they can do about it? This is the story of one person. Belgian footballer Jean-Marc Bosman. Bosman felt he was being treated unfairly by the people who employed him, in this case, his football club. So he took them to court. The decision of the court led to change in the rules, now known as the Bosman Rule. So here I am, pitch side at Charlton Athletic Stadium. Now I'm a bit gutted to be honest because I can't get a chance to score in the goal because they're actually returfing for next season. But not to worry because I'm joined by Dan Johnson, who's a spokesperson for the Premier League. Dan, can you tell me what was the situation like before the ruling? Well, basically, the situation was that a player at the end of his contract could still be kept by that club, and so they didn't have uh, freedom to move, and the club could actually demand a transfer fee and retain the registration of the player. So can you explain what a contract is for people that might not know? Well, when a, a player signs for a club, they sign an agreement which keeps them at the club for normally three or four years, um, and at the end of that contract, uh, they are no longer the property of the club. So who was Mark Bosman then, the player that changed all this? Mark Bosman played for a Belgian club uh, called Liège and uh, was looking to move at the end of his contract. He couldn't find a club that was willing to pay the fee uh, in order for him to move. So why did the player Bosman decide to go to court then? Bosman clearly felt this was an affair, so he, he went to court uh, under the freedom of movement labour laws that exist in Europe in order that he could change the system so that he could move at the end of his contract without a fee being payable to his club. And what did the court decide then? Well, the European Court of Justice found in favour of Bosman. Um, they felt it was unfair for a club to demand a transfer fee for an out-of-contract player uh, and determined that players should be free to move uh, from club to club uh, because that was a, a fundamental right of every citizen of the European Union uh, and of a freedom of movement of labour. So what effect did the Bosman ruling have on the players then? Well, I'm talking to Bobby Barnes, and you're a spokesman for the Professional Footballers Association. That's right, yeah. We represent the interests of all footballers uh, playing professionally in the UK. So what's it like now then, the Bosman ruling's in place? Players now have the opportunity, uh, if they are over the age of 24, which is an important uh, key age, in that yeah. once they've actually completed their contract, they're now actually free to join another club without any transfer fee having to be paid. This has actually allowed players a lot more freedom of choice to actually decide where they actually want to go and play next. I think overall uh, it's been a good thing. I mean, certainly for the top players, it gave them the opportunity to command higher salaries and it meant that if clubs wanted to keep their services, they had to A, pay them a bigger salary and, and B, look at keeping them on a longer contract. Jean-Marc Bosman took on his employer and won. And what he did changed the way players were employed throughout the European Union. But in the end, he was really only asking for the same freedom of movement that most workers in the European Union already enjoy. The Bosman ruling shows that if one person feels they are being treated unfairly under the European law, they can make a difference.